29 foot Dutchman bunkhouse here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this thing has, hands down, the most unique layout and bunkhouse arrangement I've ever seen in a travel trailer. And we're a huge dealership. I see a lot of trailers come and go. I've never ever seen one laid out like this, but more on that when we get inside. Um, going over it, my opinion is it's been well kept. It looks like it's in good shape. Um, you know, normal usage signs here and there, but by and large, really well kept. Um, the uh, power tongue jack on here will help you get hooked and unhooked from your trucks, especially if you have a weight distribution. That means that you don't have to crank the jack up and down several times. If you're doing it right, if you're hooking up that weight distribution set right, um, you do have to crank it up and down at least twice. A lot of people um, try to muscle it when they when they sort of pick up that uh, that you know bar and chain. If you have to really muscle it and lift it up, you're doing it wrong. Now, what's interesting is this is a rear bedroom um, and a front bunkhouse, which is not necessarily the most unique quality in the world. It is uncommon, but that means that your uh, pass-through storage under your master bed is actually located in the back. And honestly, I, I kind of like it there because that's really where you're going to keep a lot of your camping goods. And if you really load this up, a lot of people stuff all their camping goods in that pass-through storage space. You're putting weight behind the axle. That's going to take some of the tongue weight off the trailer due to uh, what's called a cantilever effect. You know, like think of it like a seesaw. And uh, that will, you know, kind of help you t in the towing department. Um, something else I spotted that I liked on here is these have uh, galvanized steel wheel wells. So God forbid, if you have just a flat out blowout and this tire shreds going down the road, you at least have a layer of metal doing something to protect your interior before this belted tire goes slapping through your dinette set. Uh, you know, a couple times a year we see that come in and man, I have literally seen trailers get uh, totaled by an insurance company because of something as simple as a flat tire. If you're going down the road and you don't feel that sucker go, it will just tear the trailer apart. Now, when you walk in here, the, the living room really doesn't look different from any other bunkhouse. It's what's in the front and the back that's unusual. So we have what's called a galley slide here. The kitchen and the sofa are in the slide out, so you, you get a lot of extra floor space here. So if someone's cooking in the kitchen, you see that you don't have to do the travel trailer shuffle to get past each other. Both the uh, dining table here, as well as the jackknife sofa will fold down for a sleeper space. You're probably only gonna put one person there at most. If you have little, little kids, you might put two. But I mean, look at the woodwork. They must have like wiped this thing down and cleaned it every time they were done. Everything in here is very clean. Something I like to look at is I like to look it up here where, uh, where they might have put a television because a lot of people, they're tired and the TV's heavy and they just kind of toss it up here and it gets nicked and dinged and scarred up. And this is clean. I like to look down here at the seating areas of used campers to see if the, the seats are really worn out and they're not. Um, I look around things like the countertops to see if someone ever spilled a, you know, their Kool-Aid and it swelled and made a soft spot. And that hasn't happened. This is a well-kept camper. This is something, you know, if you're, if you're first timers, if you're just looking to upgrade and or, you know, if you, if you don't camp all the time and you just you don't want to look at the money of a new one, um, this is a great way to go. So, uh, pretty standard bathroom setup here. Again, though, everything well kept. The bathroom is one of those areas that a lot of people will stop maintaining first, I think, because they think, oh, it's, it's a bathroom, it's supposed to be a little dirty or whatever, and it doesn't have to be. But I think that's, that's kind of the excuse that we can give ourselves from time to time. But by and large, everything in here looks really good. It's all in the right spot. I like the extra counter space here as well as the extra shelf. Because that down there is where you're going to put things like your extra toilet paper or your, your blow dryers and stuff like that. The uh, refrigerator here right next to the uh, you know your other two big appliances, meaning the microwave and the stovetop. And look at all that usable countertop space here. Not only do you have an extra deep counter, you can see that because there's lots of extra space behind the uh, stove. But the stove has a cover you can use. The sinks have a cover you can use, so you can just really lay stuff all over the place here. And there are extra power outlets back here, so if you want to run toasters and blenders, you can do that in this kitchen. They left you the room. Um, rear bedroom with, by the way, a sliding door, not a curtain, so you do have your own private space. Nothing too fancy back here, just other than the fact that it's very clean and well kept. And this is an 08, is what really blew me away. Um, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, this has got to be like a 12 or a 13. No, this is an 08 that someone just really kept clean. Um, I like that there are bedside stands on both sides of the beds. They have their own drawers, 
and power outlets on both sides of the bed. So if you have a his and a hers, like um, those uh, those nighttime breathing machines, this you know both mom and dad with your breathing machines can uh, can sleep well at night. But they also still left a shelf right above the bed as well as overhead cabinets. So you're getting everything in this bedroom. You're getting the power outlets, a shelf, and closet space all in one. Um, central air and central heat, which is really nice. So this will keep you comfortable all summer. But this is kind of what I was going on and on about outside. It is a really, I mean, it, I like it. It's just very unusual um, top over bottom bunkhouse. You have two individual bunkhouses here. And here's what I mean. You have two sliding doors. They each slide their own way to privatize the uh, the bunk areas. But you notice that you, you can't get to both bunks from one side. So they gave the kids a couple steps here so they can get to the upper bunk. 300 pound rated, so it is solid. And each miniature bunkhouse has its own big closet space. And I thought that's actually really cool. If you have a couple kids that really need their own independent space because they, you know, like my brother and I, we love each other to death, but you put us in the same spot for too long and we just start picking at each other, you know, and that got mom and dad nuts. If they had a bunkhouse like this, we all had our own individual little caves to kind of crawl into and hide from each other from. This would have been awesome. I really like this layout. So if you got a big kid, they can go on the left side. Small kids can go on the right side. There is storage underneath the bunks. It's a really cool design and I've never seen anything like that before. Um, you know, it's one of those things that sometimes I think something can be just left to center and it can make perfect logical sense and it can be awesome, but it just looks a little different. So some people are real hesitant to build it. And I think that's what's going on here. This is a genius layout. I mean, this is a perfect small family camper. Um, and, uh, or man, I tell you what, I just had a thought. If you're, if you're doing like hunting camp and you're going to have a couple buddies with you, you have multiple independent private bed spaces. So everyone gets their own space. This is a sweet layout. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.